There we go, we have our dough. Thomas, I haven't finished the treats yet. Hello everyone and welcome to <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Tom and Toby Cats. Today we are going to be making cat treat biscuit treat things. They look like this. They're super cute. They're tiny. Okay, so here is the ingredients that we will need to make these treats. So we have plain flour one egg and tuna. I've got tuna. The recipe says salmon, but I've got tuna because I feel Tom and Toby like it a lot more. Alright, so first we're going to heat the oven. The recipe says 350 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you're in Australia like me, your ovens will run on Celsius. So that converts to probably 180 degrees Celsius. Now this can of tuna is actually uh, a little bit bigger than what the recipe said to have. So I'm probably going to take about half of this can out and, uh, and put it in the uh, treats. By popping the can of tuna I have attracted some attention. Hello Thomas. I think Thomas is going to stick around for a while so if you hear random meowing throughout this video you'll know exactly who it is. <laughs> You always gotta let Thomas lick, lick the spoon. Now the recipe said to make the uh, to make the tuna look as fine as possible. So I've got the beaters out. I know it says food processor. I don't actually have one, so the beaters is the next best thing to uh, to get this all mixed together and look as small as possible. So let's do it. The, uh, the smell of tuna in this house right now is through the roof. <laughs> Alright, so that looks pretty well mixed together and as small as I could probably get it after mixing it for a little while. Alright, so next, you want to combine one egg. Knowing me, I always get shell every time I bake something. And then, two cups of flour. There's one cup. And there is two cups of flour. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the tuna and actually beat it all together again. Guys, you basically want to keep beating until like sort of a dough forms out of the uh, out of the mix. All right, so mine looks pretty pretty good now. It looks crumbly, so I'm actually gonna mix it all together to make a dough with my hands. All right, guys. So now it is time to roll the dough out here. I'm going to actually sort of put some, sprinkle some flour on the surface before so it doesn't stick to the bench. Just mix it up a bit, just like that. And then we've got our dough and it just says to roll it basically. So you want to roll it out to about a quarter of an inch. So if an inch is probably about that much, maybe about that much you want to roll it out to. Mine's probably pretty close, yeah mine's pretty close there. So there is my uh, dough, I rolled it out into a, pretty much the quarter inch that it was saying. So now I'm going to cut it out into small pieces, probably little circle pieces. Everyone don't forget, just before you put your treats on here, make sure that you line a baking tray with baking paper so it doesn't stick and that it's easy to bake. Alright, so I've got this really cute cutter that I had from uh, making Christmas cookies. I'm going to use this again, push that little guy out there. 
So I've got a star shape now. I'm actually going to cut it, uh, each of the arms, so they're like a bit smaller for the cats to eat. So I'm going to cut them all just like that. So they're a bit easier to eat because they're smaller. Like these little triangle bits. So each treat is going to look exactly like these shapes. the tray almost covered now in treats so I'm just doing the same method that I did when I got my first batch so you literally just roll it out again to your uh, to your quarter inch and then repeat the process of cutting them out the same way there we are we have our treats all ready to go in the oven you need to bake for 20 minutes at your 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit until they are nice and brown and they look good All right, got my 20 minutes set. 20 minutes later. All right, everyone. We are ready. Take them out here. Oh my God, look at that slide. <laughs> that looks so cool. They are definitely ready. They are so cool. Oh my God. So guys, I'm gonna let them cool down completely and then I'm gonna try one with Thomas and Toby and see what they think. <laughs> I think they can both like smell like the tuna flavor in there. I just don't know if they actually know how to uh, how to eat it. So there you go. That was somewhat of a success. I mean, my cats are very fussy eaters, so I would still definitely recommend making them for your cat and you know, Put a comment down below on how they like it. Let me know. Instagram, TikTok, let me know anyway if your cat enjoys those treats. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next one.